as soon as this ad rolls through, I can actually hear how I sound like on the uh, on the stream. Am I coming through okay? that how's that so actually move the mic so it's right in front of me in proper position now check 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 one two one two Come through clearly, but I'm still sounding a little bit soft. Where the heck do I?
trying to find the right menu for all of this. Ah, here we go. Let's bring it back up to 100. Let's see if that does anything. There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. down just a little bit check 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 Seems like a good sweet spot. there I don't think there would be Really clear to me. All right. Uh, sync A. Oop, hang on. There we go. A, B, C. One, two, three. It's a bit off. Hang on. Um, yeah, because I offset it. So zero. Oh, I might have to redo that once I put in the uh, the stream feed. Let's try it again. A, B, C. One, two, three. Ugh. 
Alright, that looks good. Oh, hello. some uh, desktop audio just to see how well that blends in see if it's too loud just to try and find the right uh, the right volume level for that for pre-shows Ah, that's what I thought. Uh, there we go. Muted the output. There we go. Actually, sounds pretty clear compared to what it was before on the old laptop. Let me play another piece. Hang on. Let's try this one. Okay, I can still kind of hear a little bit of compression. It's not perfect, so... I think that just might be because of the capture. Unless, hang on.
hear a slight difference. Slight more CPU uh, usage on that. Play around with this a little bit more. Uh, let's see if I do this. Apply. See how that sounds. It sounds mostly the same, so I think it's just because of the uh monitoring device. Disable Windows audio ducking. Hang on, what's this? Let's try that again. Just play it right in the middle. still sounds a little bit compressed. Alright, so I'll try and figure that out with that, but... Okay, so that looks fine, that looks fine, and this looks fine. Let's check the game audio, make sure everything's good. All 
that looks synced. And let me go ahead and do a sync on here. A, B, C. One, two, three. not synced voice is first by like two seconds all right let's try okay because I turned off the sync when I was doing the uh, thing before um, actually wait, hang on is the stream yeah the stream okay the stream feed is coming through so that's good it looks a little bit darker I can still see it, but it still looks a little bit darker. Uh, let's see, microphone. Oh, let's try that. A, B, C. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so same uh, the same uh, delay. I still got to take uh, take note of, so I'm gonna have to keep doing that. But the CPU is not running nearly as high. Remember how I said before when on the um back in the Dell it'd be like spiking from like 50 to like 60 to like almost 80. Here it's just seven, six, seven. So I, uh, I had to like the auto wizard just like configure it. I'm running at a higher resolution. I think it's running at um, I think it's running at uh, 60 frames. A bit rate six six thousand. Audio. Audio bit rate video. Yeah, sixty frames. Hardware. So far, so good. Might have to tweak the um, the stream labs for the str um, stream chat, though. Is the uh, game audio higher or low? It sounds fine to me, but I don't know. This is pretty, like, low, uh... It's not exactly loud. Too low might make it a little higher. Well, I, I just don't want it drowning me out. This is re like relatively like calm sounding stuff. So, unless hang on, unless the uh... yeah, I. 
Okay, that's relatively... That's still a little low. We can bring it up just a tad. There we go. There we go. I'll, I'll put it at uh, 12. That sounds good. So, that sounds okay. Everything seems to look fine. Let's go ahead and kick this off. I'm gonna turn off my, uh, I'm gonna turn off the stream on my phone. I'm plugging my headphones into the TV. And for once, the title, the uh, menu mu music isn't like blaring like Forsaken or uh, what was it, Osiris? Cross save. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, they added cross save for the whole um, Destiny game, whether if you're on PC, Xbox, or PS4. No, Shadow Keep is not free. That's the paid expansion. It's like I think thirty-five dollars. And unlike Forsaken, uh, Shadow Keep includes the season pass uh, that go that went with it. Unlike in Forsaken, it was separate. So that's a definite plus. And um, they came out with a new version of Destiny 2 called Destiny 2 New Light, which is actually free. It has the vanilla update of uh, uh, vanilla campaign, the Red War, as well as the first two expansions, Curse of Osiris and Warmind, as well as um, some public stuff for from the Forsaken update, along with its season pass, which is like Gambit. Um, I think it also includes Gambit Prime and the Reckoning. As well as like the menagerie and I think a black armory. So like you get a lot of stuff minus the Forsaken campaign itself. I am not sure. You would have to look that up. If you get New Light, you might have to uh, um, still get Forsaken and Shadow Keep. And I don't know if the uh, the season pass for Forsaken is free or if it's the other way around. I know there was something along with like um, Forsaken being having some weird things like one part's free and the other one isn't so it like reduces the price kind of like what they're doing with shadow keep you would have to look that kind of thing up but um the the expansion itself is 35 like a, um as usual but unlike um forsaken where the season pass was separate you have to buy that separately the season pass is included so Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and kick kick this show on the road. Um, we're gonna go with my main seven fifty. I managed to like hit the level cap with some pieces of armor, but apparently Chicken tells me that because we bought it, because we pre-ordered it, 
all of our stuff is automatically put to the level cap. Updates to the Crucible. Playlist, matchmaking, new modes. Playlists have been restructured. Matchmaking settings have been adjusted. New maps have been added. Players will no longer go down chess! Finally! That is a pain in the ass! That is such a pain in the ass! Because trying to do pinnacle uh, weapon quests for the Crucible sucks! Because when you, like... Um, there's some quests where you have to like grind out playing competitive and if you lose a competitive match um, you, you would have to like level up in glory and rank up but if you lose matches in competitive that goes down it takes so much longer Lewis is now reduced rather than your or then reset your win streak okay all right return to, mo to the moon the moon is still haunted. Beneath the surface of the moon, Eris Morn reawakens a violent entity long forgotten. What, Crota? With it come haunting visions of our collective pasts, nightmares that seek to torment us at every turn. Eris Morn wishes to put an end to it all, but you cannot do it alone. Untold glory, reward for dedicated guardians, extra glory points. Um. Hang on, does that mean I actually have actually made it to the... Whoa, what is all this? Mobility, okay, that's all the same. Discipline. Intellect. Strength. Oh, so they, they brought all this back from Destiny 1. I remember all this from being from uh, Destiny One. It's like it, it would uh, rather than having um, mobility, armor, and uh, recovery, you would have stuff that would like reduce your. Okay, so this is actually like indicated and in everything. Seven fifty, seven fifty. All right, yes, everything is maxed out. All right, I'm gonna. Um, okay, the dust is still there. So that wasn't taken off, although I think I probably won't be getting any more from the Eververse. It's all good, Mark. You didn't miss much. Uh, looks like I haven't lost anything. Icons look nice. The shaders still look confusing. Oh, it doesn't have that weird... Oh, it kind of still has a weird filter to it. All right, so while I am here, oh, this, yes, it's, this is, it's, all right, it's not completely uh, pricked out, but at least that's up, di uh, leveled up. I still got my masterworks, so that's good. Time to purge. All right, that's locked. Oh, we actually got stat numbers for once, rather than just a bar. Okay. Hang on, what's this? Oh, okay. So it's a little bit, uh, slight differences in the, uh, how the menu plays out. Probably can't do it with John. Uh, from what she told me, everything, everything, uh, not just in your inventory, but also in your vault is also boosted. We'll check that out when we get back to the tower. Um... But I am going to purge. So, um, hang on. What's the perks on this one? Uh, sidearm, auto rifle. We got sword, special armor versus. Um, fusion rifle, heavy lifting. Ooh, that's actually. I actually like this a lot more. So we're going to go with this. Alright, so... Yeah, heavy lifting. Keep this one. Burn this one. Um, Alright, 
that's already all my other stuff. Okay, so all of this, I was saving. So burn this. Um, burn this. And this. Um, this. 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 This and this. Oh, it even shows my sparrow in the back, my little tiny sparrow. I love it. <laughs> All right. Um. So I don't need this one. Don't need this. Don't need this. Keeping that. Don't need this. Or this. Heck yeah, I got the micro. What's this? Ooh, this is a finishers! Yeah, there's a new thing they added with the, um, for Shadow Keep. You actually have, like, melee finishers. So that's cool. They glow and have an icon over and oh, so it's, it's, it's kind of like um, when you're doing glory kills in Doom. They're gonna have that little flash uh, on their body. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave those be. Alright, my swords and everything are all maxed out. We still gotta get the... Uh, assuming they're still there. I would've got for triumphs. Wait. All of this wasn't counted? Or is this just a read? Oh, okay. I guess it's just a redo of how it was done. Because I think if I remember correctly, I was at 55,000. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't see why I wouldn't be using the Crucible. But we'll have to find out. Oh, that's not, uh... Okay. It's everything from Gambit. Destinations. Dream City. Oh, I still gotta finish all of those. Okay, so it shows the progression, so that's interesting. Mm, what am I still missing here? Um, really? Okay, so this is just like on top of my additional score, because I remember it was like 55,000 before this update. 
So this is all adding up that I've done before. Wait, I'm still missing a region chest and Mercury? I thought I got them all. Oh well. Triumph. Nice. So it's not too bad. Vanguard. Deal. Is that part of the Shadow Keep? Uh, Last Wish, Leviathan, Guard of the Past, Crown of Sorrow, and the uh, one for Shadow Keep. Crucy Blade. Fight and win. I gotta get my fabled rank. Get that friggin' machine gun. Alright, that's everything. What's here? Uh, undying. Okay. Secret of this. Vex offensive. So this is a new stuff with the new seat with the new with the expansion. There's also a new season that starts called um, Season of the Undying, and it involves the Vex. I don't know if we're going back to um, what's it called uh, Venus or not or something else. But um, Curse Breaker, Riven's Bane, Chronicler, Unbroken. Yeah, I did get my seal for a Dredgen. Could play a lot of Gambit. Finally. Close to this one, I just need to play a lot more on Mars. Blacksmith, Reckoner, Shadow, Harbinger, hmm. Enlightened, Garden of Salvation. Ah, that's the new raid. I wonder if that's the, bla uh, the Black Garden. See if there's anything new here. Ooh, yes! Yes! Hello, baby. It is so nice to see you again. Oh, this was one of my favorite rifles in Destiny 1. And actually showing these, too. It's an Aggie's Burden, the Rat King, the fucking Rat King. Taraba. I think this is the raid for um oh my God, not the menagerie, but the other one. Or it could be the menagerie. Ariana's Vow. Ooh, 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 okay, this is a new one I heard about. This is a oh, what is this? Um Okay, it's an energy weapon, but it's a hand cannon with a sniper scope. I heard about this one. Looks can kill. Shield piercing ammunition comes with a scope. 
bonus damage aiming down the sights on the opening shot. This bonus is preserved if the shot deals precision damage or strikes an elemental shield. Yeah, this is the hand cannon of Ariana 3. And the lore is that she was actually one of the... Um, in, if you played Destiny 1, uh, this is actually... That belonged to one of the people that served from Eris Morn's fire team that died. Divinity. Ooh, new trace rifle. That looks cool. Sustained damage with this weapon envelops a target in a field that weakens and disrupts them. Hmm. Wonder how the wonder how that will uh, compete against the uh, the cold heart. And Legend of Acrius, that's the That's the Leviathan Thousand Voices, it's the last wish. Anarchy, Scourge of the Pit Leviathan's breath. What is that? That looks beefy. Fires a heavy massive bolt that staggers unshielded enemy combatants, strong against unstoppable champions. Uh, ooh, the Deathbringer. I heard about this one. That is sexy. Fires remotely detonated projectiles that drop void orbs on enemies. This is like, this is like a combination of the Gallowhorn and the scatter grenades from uh, from the Void Warlocks. That's freaking cool. Hold R1 to fire, release to detonate. Oh. Okay, I'm. I'm a, <laughs> for a second, I thought I saw the Hawk Moon, and it's like I'm seeing things. Assassin's Cowl? What does this do? Vanishing Execution. Defeating a Guardian with a melee attack or a Combatant with a Finisher grants invisibility and restores a portion of... Ooh, that actually would be pretty handy on a, on a Night Stalker. Capri Sting. Touch of Venom. Punching someone with full melee energy will instantly cast Smoke Bomb. Again, oh, that's another thing for... Uh, for the Night Stalker. Oh wait, I remember this from Destiny One. It didn't do this though. It, I think it did like something else. At least I think there was one that looked like this. This is very familiar. I, I feel like I've seen this from Destiny One, or at least some variant of it. Hang on. Norton and secure uh, Norton security just popped up for me. Everything's fine. It was like uh, everything's running fine on your computer. Oh, the Peregrine Greaves come back with the Titans. All shoulder charge abilities. Bonus damage in the air. This thing was a beast in the Crucible. Back in uh, Destiny 1. Yeah, they are very ugly. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Dexterity, rifle dexterity, oversized weapon. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so it's kind of a combination between adding the mods and being able to tweak this stuff like you could before in um, in vanilla Destiny 1. Uh, Destiny 2. Before they changed everything for um, Forsaken. Hover over the level. Uh. Upgrade armor. Increases energy capacity. Will the upgrading the armor master? Okay, so that's how the masterwork net uh, works now. I'll give you actually give you a um. 
can spend stuff to upgrade them. Okay. So it's like they all have their own version of master working, from what I'm I'm assuming. Boss resist. Interesting. Okay, so this is kind of like the mods that you would put on the on the weapons, except it's like this is the exact opposite. Because there were some mods on the weapons where you could do bonus damage on certain enemies. This one is the exact opposite for like defense. It would work for armor. Phoenix Cradle. I've never heard of this one. Sun Warrior lasts twice as long. Allies who pass through your sunspots are granted Sun Warrior. Oh, uh, this must be a portion of them. Um, this must be from a branch of the Sunbreaker that I don't, I don't use. So, I'm I'm mainly a um, Sentinel Titan. And for the Warlock, uh, this one I haven't gotten. This I haven't gotten either. This is from, uh, what do you call it? Um, Menagerie. Like the uh, the Menagerie update. Blink further away more frequently. Uh, here we go. Storm Dancer's Brace. That looks pretty damn cool. Each enemy defeat with Storm Trance increases... D Ooh, really? Oh, that is gonna shred mods. Or not mods, adds. Like you just, especially against Hive, if you just like take down a whole horde of Hive and then go after a major or a boss. Holy crap. That's interesting. Alrighty. Um, let's take a gander here so it's going to actually show us anything. Um, okay, so Season 7, Shadow of Earthshell. Oh, this is a menagerie, uh... That's a menagerie ghost shell. That's nothing new. Harper shell. Oh, it's, a, it's like a Vex Harpy. That's neat. Cherish complicated relationships. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's freaky looking. Very hivish. Scarlet swarm. That's an interesting one. Oh, that is cool. I want that. Oh, that's adorable. I like that one. Honorable duelist. Moonshot shell. Okay. Generally, you can get the old fashioned Destiny 1 basic vanilla Dinklebot ghost. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, if only we would bring back Dinklebot. Ooh, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Yardum 4. 
Yardem, Yardem. That's that's familiar from the lore. It looks like a um looks like a Ferengi ship from Star Trek. With a lot of plants on it. Quality cut. Fashion shapes. Oh, it looks like Eris got a new ship. Finally. Or uh, probably not. I don't know. Ooh, that's nice looking. That's pretty mean looking. It looks like the rocket launcher. Spear of the Four. Okay. Oh, nice! They're bringing this back. This is from Destiny One. This is a ship design from Destiny One. And of course, the Destiny One ship. The old piece of junk. The first ship you ever find on Earth in the Cosmodrome. That's awesome. I was thinking more of a Romulan from... I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking Next Generation, but yeah, still. Yeah. I, would, I would have said Ferengi. Um, Alright, we'll start with this one first, and then we'll go with the exotics. Simple. Now for the more extravagant. I wonder what this one is. Blood Runner. Ooh. Mean looking. That's very mean looking. Looks very uncomfortable. Looks like a sparrow of sorrow. Oh, that's cool looking. Regal Howl, the sound they'll never forget. That looks like a fallen, uh, fallen design sparrow. Ooh, <laughs> I like this one. My Titan would look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How would this look in, um, ooh. My sent my commander sentinel titan riding in on this badass. Ooh. Cue the Led Zeppelin. Four degrees of separation. It looks like a piece of junk, but if you would probably put it on hang on, let's see. Not crucible metallic. How would this look? Okay, it still has its little like bits of wear and tear. Maybe here we go. That's not too bad. Um, yeah. It's got that little, like, rinky-dink Millennium Falcon touch to it. Are shaders still con uh, consumable? Yeah, but they're not that hard to... Um, it's not, like, super expensive. You can and you can always get them back from the um, from the the collections. Whoa, nice black garden vex uh, style sparrow. <laughs> Holy crap! That is mean looking. Hang on, where's the uh, the new monarchy? That is quite mean looking.
bad to the bone much. But um, yeah, if you haven't gone uh, like all the um the shaders that you've gotten before, or any that you'll probably pick up on the Eververse, you can come back to the collections and just yeah, it, it'll it'll use up some glimmer and some uh, like two shards depending on what um what kind you get. But yeah. If you run out, you can always get to, like buy some more. And hang on. Ooh. Oh, I gotta see this. Focused fist. That's a Superman punch. Fitting for a Titan. That's very warlock like. Have you ever made a reason for the shards? What do you mean a reason? Belgian flying kick? Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, is this what I think it is? Yes! Oh, that is totally going on my Titan. Oh my god, that is going to be so satisfying. Wait, I missed it. What happened? Okay, it's so this little, like, spin reverse roundhouse kick. Early Destiny 2, I was collecting shards like crazy, but there was no reason for them, and I couldn't use them on anything. So I just kept collecting them. Did they ever make a use for them? Uh, which, uh, which shards? Was it the, the yellow one, the, the orange ones, or the purple ones? Tatsumaki Senpujaku! If only you'd be able to do a, um, a Shoryuken. Or is this it? Ooh. That's that's the um that's the Chris Redfield special right there. Oh the purple shots, yeah, th that was always used from the get go. Uh it they it you use it more when you were um infusing stuff. Like when you were infusing um Something into a weapon that you would like, but was like the other um, weapon or armor was like a higher level. It would consume legendary shards, and you can always use, um, also use it for some other things. Um, it was a consumable as well as a piece of um, uh, currency, like from the spider. Alright, so. Let's get this show on the road. We'll go with my with this. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, we'll go with the quick thing. And uh, does that mean I'm gonna have to get a new ghost which I'm not gonna have room for? Ugh. Grand. Alright, let's go to let's see what we got here. Hmm. Oh So wait, like Eververse is a straight up here? Wait, what happened to Tess?
Oh, loot. Whew, that's that's very tempting. What is this? Deathbringer. Oh, okay. Monte Carlo. Ooh, new one for Thorn. Zamaki's Burden. Ooh, the Risk Runner. Oh! A little gaudy, but nice. You just put them there so you don't have to go all the way back to the tower. Does that include the um, the engrams, or do you still have to get a test for those? Ooh, they get an ornament for the hammerhead. I know that color scheme. That's Saint Fourteen. That's totally Saint Fourteen's color scheme. With the, uh, the the purple and the eagle and everything. Oh, Holly's gonna love that one. Oh, I've seen this from the uh, from the trailer. Make sure you don't fly right above it. Might take out your tail rotor and cause you to crash. Oh. <laughs> Where have I seen that from? I've seen that email from somewhere. That's not being sneaky, that's creeping. Insert Lonely Island song here. Too hot. Speaking of too hot, I got myself some spicy ramen. So expect something funny in a future stream. Okay. I think these ones are still exclusive, but some of the stuff like this, the seasonal stuff, you don't have to necessarily um, spend silver. Sometimes it would be available on the um, on the Eververse. Spicy extreme. I believe it says times two spicy. I don't know, it's the spiciest thing I could find. Like, the, the package is very, very red. It says times two, and the chicken on the the wrapper is not happy. Wait, where's the, where's the medallions? Oh, they, did, they, did they take out the fire team medallions? Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, okay. So they got this like little thing. So a little bit of handy. So that's cool. Bounties versus quests. Kind of uh, organizes it a little bit. Shadow Keep. Travel to the moon. 
Destination. 760. I am going to get my ass kicked. Oh, it even shows the uh, the clan. Yeah, nice. Hi, chicken. <laughs> nice armor. Ramen placed by me has a spicy dish that is absolutely amazing. Nice. Make me hungry, though. Hang on, what's the other one? Seasons. Ooh! Ooh, that's cool! Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Straight up, we get Ariana's vow already. Hold on, I I need to try this baby out. Oh wait, no. Um, yeah, this and this. Substitutional alloy mask. It's very classic looking. Yeah, there's a surprise, it's a good surprise. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. Oh, that is cool. That is awesome. This is all of like the ever like the um the event the event pieces of armor you could get from the Eververse. I didn't even get this one. That's awesome! Okay, I'm gonna hang on to all of these. Even if I already have my wardrobe set, you will wait and I will figure something out with that shit. Uh, what else is there? So, what, ranking? Rank progress, okay. So this is just like level up uh, progression. Upgrade module. Interest, uh, in very interesting. Oh, is this the eye? Oh, this is the gate lord's eye. Okay. So I heard a lot about this, but I don't know what exactly this does. I think this could be like a an additional item that you hold that will buff you even more. And I think this is used for a certain event. XP boost, fire team XP boost, glimmer replicator. This is friggin' awesome. Vex mine components, engrams, blackheart growth. Oh, it's a transmat. Okay. Ooh, that is very, very handy. Holy crap! Resources. Hang on, I got another one of those. Oh yes, definitely. Oh, all of the all of the consumables are so much better to get. Oh!
the upgrade module is how you upgrade your weapon power now instead of an enhancement core. So what does the enhancement core do? That's cool looking. That's very... That's very cool looking. Whoa, temporal claws? That's very Vex-like. Whoa, what is this? Enhancement prism. Required for forging masterwork gear. Gambit armor sca uh, scounger. Additional. Oh, okay. So this is like addition, like bonus stuff. This will increase your increases tier level all seeding tasks. This is like um. Drop boosts. It's kind of like what the um the old medallion used to do when you leveled up. Jeez, that's a lot of exotic engrams. This is nuts. Raid banner, which I'm never gonna use. What is? Oh my god, they brought this back. They freaking brought this back. I never thought I would see this thing again. From Destiny 1. That piece of crap. Ooh, that, oh, that is sexy. That is nuts. Yeah, sorry, Borderlands. <laughs> I was thinking about buying it, but uh, yeah. Reach power level 900. Borderlands 3 is okay, but it's definitely got problems. Yikes. Is it like... What do you mean by, by like problems? going for another hour before I gotta go to bed. Frame rate issues from time to time, menu lag, and the villains are inseparable. Yeesh! Really? Gunplay and loot are... Okay, that, that, that's... That's usually what I hear. Like the the big positive for Borderlands is like the loot, and the um the 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 game mechanics are usually good. So that that would seem like it would kind of outweigh everything. They're still playing the Forsaken music. Now. Don't need you. And I don't need you. Yeah, but, um, what am I looking at now? Let me put it this way, the main villains are what a boomer thinks Twitch streamers are like. 
after huffing a bunch of glue. That's a very interesting way to put it. Welcome, Guardian. Hi, Tess. Oh, I could have just like ex straight up. Okay. I already have that sparrow. God so dang it, Tess! Give me something new. Lilac bombast. Is that pink or purple? That is straight up pink. No, thank you. All right, Zavala, what you got? Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I still have the progress of? I need your skills more than ever. Yes, I do. Okay, so it's it ha it hasn't reset, so that's good. The reef is in its death throes, and when it goes, I will not allow it to take any more guardians with it. That's good. So I am almost done with that. All right, Shadow. Uh, I'll be playing this again tomorrow night, so I'm just making sure that the stream's okay. Tell me you have something. I got myself caught up in the whole uh, three days, three days. Yeah. Eyes of Allah. Are you ready? Indeed. Ooh, hello. That's a lot of new stuff. Hive bosses and strikes. Hive strikes. Oh, wait, strike. Mm, yeah, I guess I could be doing strikes again. But not any time. Oh. Okay, so that's just in general. Weekly bounty. Oh, yeah, those usually last longer. So. Strikes, Nightfall, The Ordeal, obtain a random vanguard bounty. Ooh, that's handy. Arc Striker. Okay. I uh, already have that one. First Watch. Timeless Vigil. Is that just a new banner? Eh. Shaders. Okay, I'll take it. Very good. Edgewise, hello. Solar machine gun. Okay, that's going on my Titan. Back to the front. Oh, hold on. Is that a count wide? Greetings. It does not say. Okay. Always have a trick of your sleep. Good day, Guardian. Hi, Shax. Time to fight, Guardian. What you got new? What do you need? Um. Hmm. Valor. Okay, so I'll take that. Careful with that. Ugh, glory. Randy's throwing knife. It's a scout rifle, though. <laughs> Alright, we'll bite the bullet. Well, we'll do Crucible another time. Hopefully your pinnacle weapons aren't nearly as annoying to get. I don't think you'll be able to get the recluse or the, uh... Sorry, hang on. 750, 750, 750, 750, oh hell yes. Okay, um... I have no room for anything. At least I don't have to worry about trying to boost that up again. Not really that comp impressive compared to my Night Watch, sadly. As much as I love the Nameless Midnight. Dread Adventure. 
Don't I have a primary shot a sniper rifle before? Soul Survivor four times. Oh, I, I'm have to do tests on those. Service revolver. I'll hold on to. Actually, no. Wait, hang on. Where is my? Wait, no. I haven't fully upgraded the rose, so we'll hold off on the service revolver. Uh, the drain. No. Keep that one. Toss that one. Cause I don't even use. I don't use a thin line. This is the one I use. Kindle Lurch Kid. Soul Survivor. Back out. Oh, you. My old break tech is seven fifty now. So that's not bad. Okay. What's this? Why are you highlighted? Your return honors me, Guardian. Build your strength and defense by acquiring gear. Reach power level 90. 9, or 9, 90. 900. Lol and grow thick. Technical knockout. Yeah, I already got that one. Alright, so what is this? Pain and gain. Okay. Seems easy to oh hello. Simulation seeds. Pulse rifle lo loader, save that for my uh my warlock. Final blows. Arc weapon, swords. Scout rifles is everything that my hunter uses. Stay out of sight. Does that core do anything finally or no? Yes, Guardian. Still nothing. All right. What about you, Hawthorn? Hey, how's the clan going? It's all right. Clanmates, clanmates, clanmates. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Okay, so I don't have to. Uh, uh. Okay, I don't remember this being here. Not that I ever used the raid banner, but. Unless, wait, hang on. Is it just the raids, or is that how it, uh, people kept dropping them in um, what's it called? Raid encounter. Because I've seen people use these in like the menagerie or or, um, or reckoning. Yourself, okay? And I don't know if it was a consumable or if it was just like a thing that they could use. But you Ada, you got anything new? Something here must be to your liking. Pulse rifle, bow, sniper rifle, sword, hand cannon, auto rifle. This is mostly the same. Mm, power weapons and shotguns. 
Hand cannons, bows. Power weapon kills during forge. Shield drones, a saboteur. Public event, here we go. And nothing new. I'll be here. Alright, so you're mostly the same. Oh, <clears throat> scare me. I think you're ready. I've counted you one of my crew for a while now. We've never been on a job together, but you've done more than your fair share. And now you've mastered the frontier. Everyone who gets as good as you, my crew asks them to pick a name. And you should pick yours soon. Uh, oh, okay. This is just because I picked up the uh, the title. What's this? Living Vestige. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That was made for you. Kinetic submachine gun. That's for my Titan. Bounties. Okay, this is all like Gambit stuff. Gambit Prime, Reckoning. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was made for you. Not gonna go to the uh Dreaming City right now. Okay. Emperor, save us. You have earned this. So says the Emperor. Class abilities. Last stress. What? What do you mean not enough space? Yeah, I'm not going to do that one right now. There. A gift from his gracious you happy? Traveler, keep you safe. Alrighty. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, the the whole... The, most likely because you, all of you don't... Uh, up on the lore lore but um yeah the whole thing about the dredgen is actually a pretty good uh, story like the whole thing with uh, gambit and the man with the golden gun so i think we are all set to go finally an hour and a half in let's get this fucking show on the road Wait, what's the, uh... Person's polarity, okay. Um, did they take out the flashpoints? Oh wait, let me see if a holiday does anything new. I would assume because it's on um, the heroics on Earth, like to do stuff on Earth, but um, I don't know. It doesn't give me that like, like progress bar for like flashpoints.
Colonel's still here? Yep. Hey there, big shot. Hi, Amanda. Ooh, what's this? Legacy. Huh. Interesting. What would those do? Enter the uh, better of armor. Very interesting. New shit, right? Wait, did you just Did I just hear you right? Yeah. Did you just say new shit or no shit? Thanks, Guardian. New wings, no wait. Thanks, Guardian. Treat yourself, hero. Watch where you step, yeah. All right, I'll have to watch the replay of that. Tell Amanda we need to work on our ships expedited. There's no escape until those are The three of you are still useless. We're going to do the whole faction thing ever again. All right, let's do this. To the haunted moon. Yes, in fact, that was Peter Stomare. He's the uh, he's the voice of Arak Jalal, uh, the faction leader of Dead Orbit. Uh, they don't do the factions. They haven't done faction stuff since year one, because um, like there was some like weird, like balancing thing. It, it didn't seem to work right with the progression of like uh, everything else. So they just kind of like put them aside. I don't know if they're ever going to go back to the, doing faction stuff. Back to the moon. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. This is this Eris? Yeah. Like with Activision out of the pictures, like they have more creative freedom. And they're obviously making up with that with, um, with, uh, Destiny 2 New Light. Finally brought back my favorite character. Was this the ether? Well, that was something. Less egregious monetization, yeah. I mean, right off the bat for this expansion, you automatically get the season pass without paying an extra 35 bucks for it. Forsaken. Attention all Guardians. Last night we detected a seismic disturbance on the moon. Within hours it was swarming with hive. This plague must not be allowed to spread. Oh, wait a minute. The hive pour onto the surface of our moon from the keep. That is where our disturbance originated. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But first, we must regain a lunar foothold. For some of you, 
This is all too familiar. This is straight up a multiplayer map from Destiny 1. Whatever this is, we will not let the tragedies of our past repeat themselves. I know this place. Oh wait, hang on, I'm still on the wrong uh, branch. I'm still in crucible mode. There we go. Let's try this baby out. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is sexy. Does it look any better than the original iteration? I never played Destiny 1. Um, well, this place did look a little bit more calmer. It didn't have that, for starters. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm out of ammo. Maybe when you finally get to Archer's line, I'll tell you more. Oh, they're highlighting uh, the ammo box. The hive appear to be retreating. Commander, these hive are erratic, scattered. They lack leadership. Crota's death left a void they have yet to fill. But the disturbance seems to have emboldened them. What are my subtitles? They must be stopped. We're on it. Don't know why they changed that, but whatever. Oh, this is like only like half of the map. Cause there was there used to be more of it. Probably got taken out. Oh, it's probably up there. That looks freaking cool. Hive are coming from that portal up ahead. Let's shut it down. That's an ascendant portal. Do I shoot this thing? Okay, just capture the flag. Or capture the base. I love this thing. Wait, I, I, whoa, 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 whoa. That was too close. That was way too close. Me and ledges, I swear to God. Okay, there we go. I see it now. Bam! Oh, 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 oh shit! That is awesome! I love this! This is freaking awesome! Come here! Ooh. Thanks to you, we'll have an LZ up and running soon. In the meantime, press on towards the keep. Guardian, there's no time to lose. Ikora? 
This disturbance, I know what triggered it. Who triggered it? Eris Morn. Eris is back on the moon? Last I heard from her, she was headed into the keep. I don't even know if she's still... We'll find her. Alive. Oh, this thing runs on ammo. It's not in a time limit anymore. Huzzah sword logic. Yeah, I'm totally getting like Mordor vibes here. Sorrow's Harbor. Before we can gain access to the keep, you'll need to clear the surrounding area. Assistance is on its way. Commander, was the Vanguard aware of the Hive's activity on the moon before the disturbance? We've been closely monitoring their progress, but have not yet discovered the purpose of this Scarlet Keep. Is this what I think it is? Oh, hell yes. Gimme. This music is pretty neat. Hello. Oh, lore. Okay, at least I know what to look for. Pretty hard. Where is the eye of the swarm? I need the Drake. If I can do more damage to this thing. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. your ass over. If I can go get at it. Did I just freaking... Oh my god, are you, are you kidding me? My Austin Powers myself. There we go. There we go. No. That is a ship of those balls. This is an army, this wouldn't be Sabathun, this would be uh, Shiva or Roth.
Oh, time to go. Another one. Say jinx for what? Uh, can I give you? Uh, can I give you Drake? Oh, come on! Oh, the Austin Powers thing. Alright, uh, where's that other Drake that I left at the... There it is. Can I... Yes, I can. God dang it. Is it weird that hearing this music makes me think of the Juggernaut theme from Deadpool 2? The path is clear. Ready to head into the Scarlet Keep. You still have it? Oh my god, Mike. Come on, man. You are missing out. Eris came to me. She'd found evidence of something very old on the moon. A potential threat to humanity. Eris insisted on going alone. Just a scouting mission, she said. And I let her. Eris is resilient. She's proven that again and again. Often to her own detriment. If anybody can take care of themselves, it's Eris Morn. Ikora? We've lost her signal. That's strange. Very. Unless she's jamming the signal. Enduring Abyss? Yeah, I'll give you that. He did finally watch into the Spider-Verse, so... Is this the darkness? Very spoopy. That's a new type of throw. That's a nightmare throw. What is that? Unstable essence. Unstable essence. That's something from uh, uh, Menagerie. Yeah, that, that says Nightmare Thrall. What the hell? Very true, it is October. Really? 
whatever. Uh huh. Oh, you're a yellow bar. Then what are they? And where am I going? What the hell? source of our disturbance it should be right around here hold on to your duke it's about to get spooky <laughs> that's a good one that's a very good one a good one i might, I might end up using the shit. oh shit That should not be here. Eris must have gone inside. Oh, shit. That is the straight up fucking darkness. Where do I go? What the hell is this doing here? Something's wrong. I feel strange. Like someone or something is invading my light. It heard the moon had the best tea. <laughs> This is the darkness. This is straight up darkness. Shit is a gotten real. That thing across the way. What is that? There's some sort of massive energy spike here. It's too heavy for us to pass through. What? Crota? Crota? But we killed him. Oh shit, I need a sword. I'm doing like minimal damage to him. Sci-fi Vlad the Impaler. Close. It's more like a sun. Oryx is probably well. You know, I guess it probably could be. Oryx was a uh, boss from uh, Destiny One. He was introduced in the um, the first expansion. 
and the dark below. That did not do anything to him. Bodies floating outside the pyramid. Oh. These are what I think these are. Yeah, this shit just got real. Because actually, in the lore, um, the moon was the site of a, like a huge. Um, they called it the Great Disaster. Uh, what happened was that um, when they found out the, the hive threat was on the moon, uh, they sent a huge team of guardians, like numbering in the thousands, and all of them were completely destroyed. All of them were killed because of the, uh, they, they underestimated the hive threat. And most of them died to this guy. Ow! Jesus Christ! They call him Crota the Dark Drinker. All right, I'm gonna. I need to. I need to get some distance because I. Need firepower. And I think that um, unstable, uh, unstable essence might give me a, um, a buff. Doing some, but not a whole lot. That or could you just because I'm low, de uh, low power? Oh, there we go. Shit. What? What is this? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Fanatic. We can't move. We have to go now. And go. Guardian. Come. Please. Bye. Ninja vanish. Gary. Oh, hey, he speaks! He actually speaks! Hi, Matt. What is that pyramid? You've heard the stories of the Traveler's sacrifice, of darkness descending upon humanity. Before us lies a dark remnant of their existence. Was it struck down by the Traveler? Left here on purpose? The truth is ours to discover. Discover how? We find a way inside. Was this your grand plan that uh, you and the Queen thought up of? Eris is a, a hunter. I know she doesn't look like it, but uh, yeah, she's a hunter. We're 
regarding the great disaster. Why are all the best characters hunters? <laughs> because hunters are the best. <laughs> Cade Six, Eris Morn, Anna Bray, Shin Malfour. Heck, even when Reza Lazir reimagined himself as Dredge and Yor, he became a hunter. God damn it, Moon Moon. Sanctuary. Gaul. The fanatic. Crota. Like living nightmares, your past confronts you, Guardian. Old scars reopen around me as well. Phantoms of my friends return with the malice they never truly had. Every one of them, the twisted will of that looming pyramid. We must not let it distract us from our goal. Finding a way inside. Together we have conquered our enemies. We will do it again. A phantom of my deceased fire team member, Saimoda, haunts me. It is only a trick of the pyramid. From the nightmare of Crota, you received an unknown object that harbors dark energy. You leave it with Eris Morn so she can unearth its secrets. In the meantime, the moon hosts further mysteries to uncover regarding entering the pyramid. The hive seem to be exhibiting strange behavior that may be related. Investigate the strange hive behavior near the Scarlet Keep. Oh, hey! Well, I already had the two-tailed fox, though. That's the thing. Uh, Shadow Keep campaign tracking. I believe it went to the postmaster, so hang on. I'll have to backtrack. Yeah, I think all the stuff went to the postmaster. Oh, no, it's a quest. So where would it be? Yeah, I think that's what it went to the, uh... Alright, so we gotta backtrack. We gotta get to the tower. They better not fucking kill her. I doubt it. She's a, she's a, um... She's kind of like how Anna, Devrim, and, um... And Sloan are for the moon. Did I break the game? No. It's just for some reason it got sent to the Postmaster. I think probably because I had all those bounties. So I will be right back. And we'll check out the moon. Actually, while we're en route, let me go see what the moon has. Sorrow's Harbor, so that's where we have. We got the Hell Mouth, the Anchor of Light, the Sanctuary. Okay, so that was before. Archer's line. Oh, okay, everything from Destiny One is back. These are the three areas that we had before, and a lot of um, invasion zone. Okay, that's the uh, stuff for the new season. 
That's a fallen catch. Hmm. But yeah, this is where you would have started in um, Destiny 1 in the Archer's line. Oof. I'm just going to keep boosting up my main armor pieces. Upgrade mod. Okay, so it does need an upgrade module. Doesn't just use the uh, the shards and the the cores then. So I guess if you wanted to upgrade, you have to use the um that stuff and then buy it. Is that what the idea is? Transfer. Sign, please. Actually, I'm gonna hold. Oh, oh dear. A fifty five thirty B L N R and D G S six are down. Right away, Guardian. All right. Uh, purchasing upgrade modules and forging masterwork gear. Okay, so you just, you just can't use it as is anymore. There is hope for humanity yet. Guardian. Oh man, that's gonna be nuts in the crucible. Just gonna take a minute here. Thank the traveler for data compression. Now, if only we could get it uncompressed. Okay, now uh, back to the moon. There we go. Shadow keep in search of answers. All right, so we'll we'll hold off on that tomorrow. But I do want to see the um, the old places. I had some drop frames somewhere. Did it lag out some uh, at some point? Not that I notice, unless the time had buffered. Hmm. Okay. It, it seemed like it was very minuscule, so. But that being said, how does how does the quality of the stream look compared to how it was before on the on the old laptop? Because this thing's running at a much higher resolution. At least I hope it would be. Beautiful. Nice. Surprised me. 
The fight continues. Alright, I'll take Always this. Be prepared. Yeah. Our shadow keep progress. Okay, it's just one of them. But we saw a whole bunch of them, so I guess it would be the people who died during the Great Disaster. Take a stand. What's this? Insufficient phantasmal fragments. Interesting. Is this the step up from the helium f oh, uh, helium filaments from before? Let's take a look at the... At the Hang on. <laughs> okay, there we go. We gotta find the archer's line. Oh, they still got the... Uh... Fallen is still here. That's kind of surprising. House of Dust, even. Wait a minute. Is it still there? Oh, it is still there. Nice. Yeah, that's where we. Oh, you. That's where you would spawn before in Destiny 1. There's the old Archer's line. Still looks the same, minus a couple of uh, cracks of doom. Phantom. This is kind of proving my theory. This is either Eris' old team, or these are the Guardians that all died in the Great Disaster. So yeah, Moon's Haunted. Moon is stupidly haunted. Don't tell Cuckoo that though. He'll probably never set foot in this place. Oh man, I'm getting uh, I'm getting a huge nostalgia here. Just going up this hill again. This is new. There you are. Is it vandals? Yeah, I gotta kill vandals. He's not haunted by bears. Eh. He'll probably think the ogres are bears. Or maybe the knights. No, probably the ogres. With their with their optic blasts. Destiny stole Destiny Souls. Oh man. This is this is like taking me back. This is like everything here. Helium filaments? Oh yeah. The helium filaments are back.
server here? Nope, just a whole bunch of you. Although that light was never on. Um, okay, yeah, I did break the game. Okay, this looks like the kind of place a, uh, a chest would be in. Hang on, can I... Hey! I'm sure that'll get patched out in the next week. Oh, hey, this actually opened... Opens up somewhere. Yeah, this is new. Is this a lost sector? I think this is a lost sector. Hang on. Oh, yeah, this is a straight up lost sector. I'm not going to go here yet. Because if there's anything like freaking Forsaken, I'm going to have my shit pushed in the second I step foot in there. Oh, hello. No! Hey, come here. My favorite map in Destiny 1. Yeah, I loved this map, especially when you get close to the Hellmouth. Hang on, is there still, uh. Are the holes still here? Yup. These are still here. I wonder if there's a, uh. There's a loot cave exploit from these now. That'd be pretty funny. This is kind of new. No more! Of tattered bo blood and broken bone. And is this a lost sector? This is probably a lost sector. That is a symbol of Crota, I believe. No, what is this? Very spoopy area. Where we'll we'll get back to this tomorrow. We finish this. Uh... Okay, I remember this part. So yeah, this was just like it, that was never there. It would just like cut down here and go back out there. Oh, hello. Um. Why can't I open this? Oh, you're invisible. That is quite satisfying. So wait, hang on, where are the uh Oh it should be over here. 
Yeah, here we go. This one over here. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that's new. Guard appears. The Wealth Keeper? Interesting. These are keys. Huh, I gotta find other ones like that. Interesting. Okay, yeah, it would end here, I think. Like, it would end here and then go down that side. But instead, I'm gonna go this way. And go straight to the Hellmouth. Oh yeah, the jump's still here. Oh god, I missed it! I always missed it! God dang it, I always miss that ramp. God dang it. A failing war set just fell out of the sky. Whatever intel it contains belongs with us. Defend it, Guardian. Oh wait, I need to kill more sh uh... Hang on. I completely forgot I had a patrol going. Come on, we're the vandals. Those aren't blamo. Just like old times, indeed. Especially with all these cracks in the ground now. It's gonna happen a lot more. I gotta find vandals. I only need two more. All the freaking vandals around here, man. <laughs> like it just like it rolls back like that. That's pretty funny. Come on, vandals. Vandals. I 
don't want a Marauder, I want a Vandal. Well, aren't you just a big old bag of dicks? Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna go to the Owl Mouth. There we go. Nightmare Gothrax, Swarm Protector? Gothrax, Gothrax, where was he from? That's still there. Oh, this place opened up now. Yeah, because before there was like a huge like wall of uh, rock separating it. That was like an old fissure of the uh, on the surface of the moon. See that how, how the uh, the hell mouth looks. God, this is all just taking me back. I wonder if they. I feel like they had to have taken the original hell mouth and then just like reworked it. Here, this one's a little bit easier. What are these things? More keep coming. That sounds like Matt. Oh, hey, what's this? What? This is a Jade Rabbit. You lack something? This is a straight up Jade Rabbit. What do you mean I lack something? It looks like a rabbit, though, but this is, yeah, this is the Jade Rabbit. Before it was just like one big old bright fog, now it's just like sickly green. Yeah, like all the like small cave locations just like coming back to me. And there used to be like chests hidden along the uh along the edge of the hellmouth. Wait, can I go back into the, uh... Yeah, this place is kind of crumbled down. This was never here. I don't remember this place. So this is either the place where... Oh no, it's up here, so I don't know what this is. But yeah, I wonder if they took the old Destiny 1 map and then just like...
messed around with it. Or if this is from straight from the ground up. Oh, this is different. Malkant's Blasphemous Demise. Yeah, this was never open here. This is a dead end. This is, there was like a wall here. So this is interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Is this... Is it either there or there? I think this is the opening to... Uh... The Crota's End uh, raid. I th yeah, I think this is like where it opens. And, like a bridge would go out here and extend out to the middle of the Hellmouth before you jumped in. So this is pretty darn cool. How far can we go down here? Oh yeah, this is all coming back to me. This is all coming back. The gatehouse. This is like the long hallway that goes around. Oh, this place is more ruined. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. 850? In him. Yeah, I'm putting damage. Oh, ow. I'm at least putting damage on him. Even though he's like a hundred power over me. Let's see how this does. There we go. On a red bar. A friggin' red bar. I should reinstall Destiny 1 just to show how this used to look. Oh yeah, this is the old, uh... This is where you would have your first, uh... First time holding a sword of Crota. Lighting was very different though. And it would go down there. Beefier. Lighting is very different. Because you would get the sword here, and then the uh, the hive would come out.
Okay, yeah, I, I remember this layout now. Oh, jeez. And on an acolyte, not a not a knight, but an acolyte. If it was a knight, it would probably just like be running up to me and shoving his sword down my throat. In a very non-consensual way. Oh, you can actually like see outside these. You couldn't do that before. I think this was just like this is either a wall or a or like a light. This wasn't a window before. Oh, yeah. God, everywhere. Yeah, these, these are all Guardians lost. And the Great Disaster. I don't remember that gap being there. Yeah, because the, the thing broke. Circle of Bones. Can we actually, like, visit the, uh... The, the Court of Oryx? In the uh, the world's grave. Oh God, they're immune! Oh no, no, this this is a whole nope zone. Hang on. Yeah, all of these guys are immune. I cannot put a dent. Oh God. I need to get out of here. Yeah, that is way out of my power level. Oh god, well, I'm trying to remember what that, um, one big ogre from, like, the strike was called. The one that was in chains and it breaks out and you have to kill it at the end of the strike. I'm trying to remember what his name was. Oh crap, you guys are back. Oh, that's a knight. No, not that way. Alright, we'll go ahead and leave. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. Let's go ahead and go to orbit. Love that strike. I'm trying to remember what the exotic quest was. But it, you had to... Um, you had to play uh, either a heroic or a nightfall version of that strike, and it was super hard and ridiculous. I'm th not sure if it was Thorn or if it was the um, if it was the Necrochasm. It might have been the Necrochasm because I didn't. I never finished that one. It was either Thorn, Bad Juju. Wait, no, did Bad Juju have a quest in Destiny 1? I don't remember. No, 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 no. It, it was either, um... It was either Thorn, the... No, it wasn't the Pocket Infinity. It was the other shotgun. Invective, or... I think it would have been the, um... A fusion rifle. Pocket Infinity. I think it might have been that one. It was one of those. It was like one of those early year one uh, exotics. That was like super hard to do. And you had to cheese um, the ogre by hiding in the like that small hallway. Before you go into the open area. And just like snipe him from like the cracks of the, of the door. I remember that. 
Because I, I, I ended up soloing that. I don't know how I managed to pull that off, but anyways. I'm excited. I've stuck around a lot longer than I should have. I need to go to bed. But we will continue with this more tomorrow night. So thank you for joining me. And thank you for helping me set up this, um, set up this stream. I hope it looks good. I'm going to look through the, um, the VOD just to see how well it looks compared to my old streams. Hopefully it looks a lot better as a brand new computer. I'm loving it so far. And uh, I have not yet updated Bravo site. I need to get on that. I'll probably do that tomorrow um, when I get home. But uh, yeah, if you like that stream, tune in tomorrow for more Destiny 2 Shadow Keep, as well as uh, other. Oh, 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 oh wait. Um, actually, no, I'll, I'll hold off on that uh, announcement uh, for tomorrow while I have more time. But yeah, well, I'm not going to do my usual outro. I'm just going to say thank you for joining me for this uh, opening of year six. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for more of it. Take care. Love and hype. Life is good. Good night, everyone.